so the way this whole system works out, just have to have a higgledy piggledy. There's this uni joint here, which is from here to here, with our wrap. There you go, you can see it bend there. Then we've got a stop for the side stand, uh, the centre stand. However, this has a stop on that stand, and then another bit of metal. We're not going to remove it or anything, we're going to keep it as it is. But basically the way this pipe is meant to work is it's meant to attach to here, not there, as far as the literature goes. So that stop seems like it's meant to, if that's meant to be level, then that stops there, which is stupid. Let's just cock that up a bit. Then we need to get our can of WD-40 <laughs> and our rubber Johnny. Fucking Jake, what a fucking moron. So we've got our stainless steel strap on. So let's remove our cosmetic mask because this is polished stainless and I wish it wasn't. It's a shame they don't do a lot of exhausting. Right, so, like so. And then we have that bracket, don't we? we have that. Can we just hook it on there, though? I don't want to really put brackets where I don't need brackets. Let's just strap this Johnny on first. This actual Johnny is actually quite nice. It's got. It's actually been. It's. It's been. Um, the mold has been designed to receive. Oh, for fuck's sake! This whole assembly it's actually been designed to do it which is quite nice nice touch nice touch apart from it doesn't fit <laughs> oh god this is fucking boring isn't it jesus christ what a fucking fucking dick around no oh, have i got it the wrong way around yes of course i have Yes, of course I have. Idiot. Uh, come watch the workshop where you can watch me do tedious tasks. Oh no, it's still fucking wrong. Oh no, it's not. It's slipped. Look. It's alright. It's alright. I'm just having a retarded, a retarded moment. Oh, actually, do you know what? Fuck me. That is a nice fit. That is a nice fit. Whose idea was that? The dude at Delcovic who came out... I'm sure it's Delcovic, that's how you say it. Um, the dude who came out with this, please give yourself a pat on the back from me. I'm actually going to send either an email or maybe even some emails with some videos attached to them saying, this is my feedback. Number one, stop with the shit gaskets. I've had two of your kits now, and them gaskets are fucking horrible. Um, either don't supply them and tell people to get their own, or make some good ones. Oh, so now that awesome Johnny is on there, that is absolutely wonderful. Is that I like that? Thank you. It's on. No worries, dude. And we will slap that on there. Can I? No, oh, I can't get that to reach there, can I? Oh, can I? See, I want it on there, back where it originally went, not... God, it's holding that tight though, isn't it? Fucking hell. Oh, no, because it ends up clashing with this anyway. So we're going to have to put that on there, like that, with some stupid bracket. And actually, maybe the bracket is part of the thickness of that. Remember, we need some WD-40 on this. <laughs> I am a fucker. And we need to put our clamp on as well, don't forget that. I'm just trying to line everything up before I make a complete cunt of myself. So we have... The good thing is, is they give you all the fittings with nylocks as well. Stainless steel fittings. Loads of washers. Good lads. And uh, this nut. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to check out what the problem with this oil sender switch thing is, because I don't get it. I don't get why you have to move it. We'll find out why in a minute. 
Um, but anyway, yeah, so what they want you to do is they want you to put that on there, like so, which actually isn't that ghastly. It's not you're really going to notice that much. Not compared to this fucking thing. What, I'm going to chop that off. What is this? This is horrible. Chop it off there. So that's, you've got your brake cylinder in. Chop it off there and chop it off there and get rid of all that shite. Because there's nothing here. This is just to hold your exhaust on. Um, pliers and stuff. Fucking split pins. Come on, you can't. See, who needs fucking pins when you can just pull them out with a pair of fucking... But you're not a spanner, man. <sighs> I've seen people dick around for ages with... Um... Oh, come on, you cunt. Fuck around with ages with pliers and pin, uh, with pins and screwdrivers. Getting split pins out. Split pins are not fucking easy to hard to get in. Come on. Could do it clean. <laughs> See, that's why it was sticky, all the shit in there. Ooh, and the detent ball. Ooh. Let me get a wire brush. I can't just leave that as it is. All the apprentices or what have you that hold stuff with their hands and then wire brush it and then get all these fucking bristles in the fingernails and go ah 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 there's a lad who was sitting there doing it for about half an hour trying to wire brush something small stabbing it in his hands every five seconds you heard him squeal out like a little piggy is that what you're doing is that wire brushing this can i get something to hold it then you fucking retard my God, where did you lot learn all this stuff? Oh no, we made a clean spot. Oh fucking hell, God forbid. <laughs> Copper grease, my favourite. It's weird how you start out these channels and you don't realise how you're going to be synonymous with things. Copper grease, Evans, Del Boy is a cunt. Um, what are the other sayings? Everything's shite. You just don't realise that these things are going to become, um, you know, part of, a bit like um, AVE and people like that, they don't realise that what they say might become like a slogan for something. Like, re release the schmoo. I'm sure he didn't intentionally think, ah, oh, that's a good, there's a... no oh, fucking hell, what am I doing? Clean that out as well, get the ball out. I'm sure at the time I didn't realise that um, what he was doing was... Uh, what have you... going to become like a, a saying until you come to the point where you start doing t-shirts that you go, oh fucking hell. <laughs> uh shit. But... Um, yeah, there seems to be a lot of confusion um, among the young folk, should I say, with um, with what grease is and what grease is used for. Grease is a soap. That's what grease is. Right, hang about. Have I got another nylon? Oh, the fucked me. You mean I'm gonna have to supply my own nuts? 
<laughs> Motherfuckers have fucked me. Because I'm not missing. Ah oh, well, sure I'll get over it. Um, yeah, so when you're fitting stuff, be it exhausts, be it anything, you always do it loosely. This is why Jake the Garden Todger is a todger because he's saying, oh no, you gotta fucking put, you know, um, what did it first one he said was, oh no, you gotta put fucking WD-40 on your rubber bits. So what the fuck for? Align it properly, you fucking retard, and you won't have to. Washers, people are confused about what washers do. I get it all the time from these junior engineers. What do, Put a washer on that, why? Look, it's to distribute the load. You know all about load. You did an entire fucking paper on it. Oh, right, yeah, yeah, I forgot. I forgot it meant something in real life. Let me go and get a fucking M8 washer. A uh, 6 washer. Uh, not. Yeah, so as I was saying, people seem to have this utter confusion. And that Todger guy, what does he say? I'm a fucking technician. Oh, God. Now... If you are a technician, I'm not kicking you in the nuts. What I'm saying is, my whole comment there of, uh, is all about what the fuck does that have to do with anything? It's like if you say, I'm an engineer, or something like that, doesn't mean you're a good one. It doesn't automatically. You know, especially with the state of education today, fuck me. You've got to be kidding me, aren't you? It means nothing half the time. People automatically assume, you know, it's like, is there a doctor in there? Oh, you cunt. You see what? I'm a fucking dickhead. Forget Jake. Mm. I said to myself, don't put that on before you put that on. I was like, that's not you. <laughs> and I haven't. I'm distracted. That's my excuse. But I'm an engineer. <laughs> what does that mean? Now, I'm probably going to say put some of like, that horrible fucking grease on this as well, but I don't see that. Chada! on the back again nylock on the back again oh yeah wonder boy that's what i want to call del boy wonder boy wonder boy was putting a sprocket on something i watch all of his videos now just for the shits and giggles he's um i am a subscriber of dell's why not so i get the updates you see when he releases a new piece of shit and, uh, right, we need to make sure that clears that nut, which it does just, really, that should be upside down. Oh, that's better. Like that, that proper clears it. Uh, tent. So, now we've got all this semi-floating, let's tighten that up at least. Um, we don't need all of this rocking around. It'd be the red one. It'd be the fucking red one. Where's the red one? Where's the red one? Um, why am I going mental? It's easier than going to the toolbox. Uh, yeah, he was like, oh, uh, he was putting a sprocket on, and he goes, just a dab of Loctite on these, even though they're nylocks. <laughs> oh, that's quite hilarious. Right, so we can tighten this, because this, although we don't want to go too tight. There we go. That's why it's got a nylock on it. It's actually a bit too tight. 
there we go. The detent ball is what stops it rocking around. And yeah, I like that, that's quite nice. Yeah, the detent stops it falling down. That's what the ball is for. On your actual foot pegs, you and that one snapped. On your actual foot pegs, you have a spring because you always want them down. So now we've got that rotated quite nicely. See, we've got loads of play. And what you have to do, and what that Todger boy, what Todger boy, that's another name, what Todger boy doesn't do is you have to tighten from the headers first. The reason why is that the castings in the head are the most important bit. These brackets can break and whatever. We don't give a fucking toss about these brackets. You can replace them, you can add bits, you can do whatever. The engine, on the other hand, you do not want to split or crack a head. Right? You just don't. And you do not want to put stress, or too much stress, on the actual head itself. So what you do is you tighten at this end, and then the rest of it is free floating, and then you jostle it into position, and then you just nip it so it just keeps it still. So the whole pipe can vibrate and reverberate, but at the end, it can vibrate here a lot, at that end it's actually fixed. What he does is tighten it all here, so at the other end if your head is slightly out and then you're tightening, you're actually putting pressure, you're actually basically bending that pipe out of line. Now the heat cycles it goes through over time it will relax, but right there and then it is now trying to spring back, then pipes are trying to spring back like that, right? and um, we call it spring back. It's when you bend a material, if you bend a sheet of steel 90 degrees, when you stop applying force to it, there'll be some spring back as the metal is under stress. Um, on the inside of the curve, it's under compression. On the outside of the curve, it's under tension, it's being stretched. And when you release that pressure, it is going to relax back to its normal state. And this is all about how much you've plastically deformed it. So there's plastic deformation, which is basically when you bend something and it doesn't return back to the way it was. Think of plastic as in the brittle version. And then elastic deformation is when that's your spring back. So elastic deformation is like an elastic band. You pull it, but then it returns back to normal. So what you're doing is you're bending your pipe and there is some elastic deformation because there's always elastic before there's plastic. So you can always usually bend steel. Um, I'll give you an example here. You can bend steel and then it'll spring back and that's elastic. But if you bend it and then it, you've bent it, that's now a plastic deformation. You've gone past the point of no return almost, uh, in a sense. Um, so, by um, attaching your pipes at the headers first, you are basically setting the, the rest of the pipe then has to follow that profile of where it has left it alone. If you do it the other way around and you get all this whatever and tighten it at this end, everything's going to jostle and move as you're tightening, as you're moving stuff. Um, and yeah, like I say, what you do is when you tighten it to the head last, what happens is, is now that elastic deformation that's trying to push back is putting a force on the head. And with thermal expansion and all the rest of it, when things expand, they grow, which means they'll want to pull more. It depends on the geometry and all the rest of it. It's just not the way you do it. You do it the other way around. It's like, this is how you fit anything. This is how you fit dowels to things. This is how you do whatever you see. There's a lot of room, there's a lot of twist. We've got a lot of room everywhere. Now the, in, the manual says, 15 new 15 one five newton meters like feck off oh are you kidding me well <laughs> oh for fuck's sake right so the bit i've just done is the springs i didn't press record i've just been through it all and no one was watching so the sp we're going to use the spring up to give you because most of you guys probably won't have a spring puller Spring puller basically is a handle like this. Just imagine that's on the end. There's one, a couple in the toolbox, I just can't be bothered. So, what you do is you grab the springs, you pull them down, hook them on, and these silicon Johnny bits are not just there for be, to be pretty. You've got to find the lowest or the closest contact part of the pipe and then put this in the way so it's a cushion. When this spring starts bouncing up and down because you bounce up and down the road, it means it stops that rattling, horrible noise. And basically you just do that, you keep moving it around or you move it completely out of the way and look where the spring gets the closest to the pipe and then slide it and put it there. Silicon will 
burn, it won't melt, and the temperatures it's going to see under this pipe, it won't do anything. So, that's that bit done. Now we're going to move further down. Right, now we're at your end. We've still got a bit of flex. You see, as you move down and tighten things up, you're going to lose. You see, we've still got a lot of wobble here, but we've got nowhere near the wobble we had before because we're tightening that up. So, we get our socket. Is this where I think it should be? Still worried about that stand clapping that. We'll have to check that. Um, we'll close down this bit of pipe first. that closed up this I like it like that um, there's a nut on the back of these ones which is weird That's strange why did you do that what? oh this is an, an allen bolt one that's weird um, red one no orange one Orange one, not on the top. Tighten this. There's no real placement issue here. I don't think. This... Um, what the fuck am I doing? I don't know what you can see, what you can't see. Just hold still. Ah. Obviously, that'd be a little better done with a spanner. Now the baffle's still fitted because I'm going to test both. The only problem with doing that is it means you, for this exhaust, it means you have to remove this section of your end can again. That's a bit of a shame. Now, there's some people going to say, oh, you should have had the. Oh, is that. No, it is threaded. Is it threaded? Yeah, oh, it's just a. What? Oh, it is threaded. So what's that? Is that just a lock nut? Why would you want that on top? I'm interested as a lock nut, maybe. Seems a bit stupid because it's got nothing to sit on. Uh, Some people are going to say, oh, I don't like that thread sticking out. You want to turn it the other way around? Fucking do what you want. <laughs> I'm not, I don't really care. Um, so, yes, we are not touching there, which is all good. Tighten this fucker up. Oh, we found the nut, didn't we? And you see, when you take this off, remember last time it all sprung off. You can see now that everything's holding everything in place itself. Um, so it just stays there. You see, and if we jostle this around, it doesn't matter. It's not, it's attached to a load more pipe work. This is why you do this last. You don't need WD-40 for all this shit. They do say you can put water, soapy water on this. That looks pretty alright to me. <laughs> no adjustment, no soapy water required. You start from the back and do everything really loose and just move backwards. Then you shouldn't really need to do anything. Got some nice ribbon in there when they've bent this over. Not cheap ass shit. I like that. I do like that a lot. details are very telling there we go that's that get your solvent out now dickhead jake the giant todger um use fucking wd-40 don't whatever you do look at this shit right carb cleaner brake cleaner 
whatever, flashes off because they're extremely fucking volatile solvents. And they flash off at the speed of light. And it goes and covers the whole thing. Fuck me. Not cover the whole thing. Cover a cloth and then just fucking get rid of your horrible fucking jungle prints. And to be quite honest, at the end of the day, you don't even have to go mental with that. People go, it stains your exhaust. It's an exhaust, it's a bike, ride the bike. Don't stand there looking at it like a fucking homosexual unicorn. Fucking hellfire. And people are gonna go, what you got against homosexuals? Nothing, they're just fucking funny to make point and laugh at. There you have it. Oh, I've got some nuts to replace at the front because I'm a fucking retard and I forgot how to count. Um, and we're all fucking hooked up. We've got clearance from the swing arm. Our oh, brake, is that hitting that? It is. Ah, well. Is that full brake? See, and this is when you come in and start adjusting stuff. We should, I say should, <laughs> let's see, I should be able to undo this. And cock it a bit. And this one. Where's my spanner? Oh, I should have got a small one. Editing, editing, editing. Just undo this one a bit. But release a bit of pressure off that, push that down. move out of the way <laughs> then we're clear and then I can't get on that sweet it's exactly what I wanted if I put that there yeah it's nowhere near quite cool we'll do that there's always room for adjustability So we've got a stupid little stubby short oval teen <laughs> oval teen can on it. There's a reason why we've got a stupid little stubby oval teen can on it. It will become clear in the near future. Oh that didn't sound good. <laughs> Let's put it side stand and see what happens. I'm probably going to take that side stand off because I don't like them anyway. Did it touch? I think it did. No damage, no foul though. I don't know what that whole pipe thing was about. We've got clearance for our foot brake. Peg works. Stupid fat exhaust. Let's get some fucking solvent on there. It looks alright. I'm not really a fan of exhausts. I'm a fan of riding bikes and I'm a fan of engines. <laughs> <laughs> you can't fucking see that very well. So yeah, I once again run our mark. We're where we were before. Let me just adjust. There we go, so you can fucking see it. Turn it on, that might help. Can you see that? It's not the clearest thing you've ever seen in your life, is it? Low? Fucking low. So when it, if it's anything below... Um, try and get the exhaust in at the same time. If it's anything below 
forty it washes out. So we'll do max hold so I can see what it is. Max hold, right, we'll just do tick over. That's a lot higher. <laughs> 119. Sweet. Right, what we're going to do is we're going to take the baffle out. This is why I didn't put the silicon um, around that main. Uh, blah, what do you call it now? I didn't put any of the silicon gubbins around the what is it? Because I didn't want to take it on and off, on and off. You can see, let me show you. You can see there's the baffle in there. If you can see that. Hello! There's a baffle in there which is basically just a, an empty tube and there's this nut here. Undo that nut. Like so. Then, get some pliers and we'll pull that bugger out. That needs a good fucking pull. Like so. And that's the tube. You can see there's actually already just running it quickly. There's some of the red goop. You see, it's just a perforated tube that chops up the air, doesn't it, Del? It chops up the air. Now, if you thread loads of. So now, basically, what we've got, you can see that we've got a straight through jobby. Now, what does this sound like? Let me set it up and we'll do that. Oh, one thing to add is put your. Uh, Oh, this is, this is, ah, it's a different size, right, so that, <laughs> oh, clever, no, I get that. So that's a M4, get yourself a little stubby M5 and put it in there. And fucking M5, M6, so there's an M6 in there. That's just literally finger tight. But you want to tighten that up just so it doesn't rattle out. You could use um, a bevel washer or some shit like that just to, to try and retain it, but I don't think it's going to come out. Just tighten that down in there. See, that's some thinking. You see, the thing is, you don't want a thread in there and then a thread in the baffle, otherwise the threads won't match up and it'll all go wonky T. You see, it's just poking out there, it's gonna do fuck all. It's just gonna stop air bleeding out from there. Let's put this on. Let's see how it goes. Right then, we're back at it. And we've got the baffle out. As you can see. <laughs> so. That's the, the, it's like a fucking, it's like Robocop's fucking power fist of 5,000 dildo, this fucker, isn't it? Jesus Christ. Whoa, ribbed, perforated, perforated for her pleasure. Right, let's fire this up, see what our uh, tick over was. I can't remember what it was, 8.81. You'll know, because that's it, Max Hall. What's it sound like now? Is it going to fuck everyone off?
you bastard. Yeah, you know this stuff. This stuff. And um, what you'll see here, you'll see it leaking. That's because I'm changing backwards and forwards with this. And you'll see here, that's what you'll see. See water. So yeah, you could see that it's blowing. You could see little streams of water piss out. That's it leaking. You look at the other ones, well, the other two joints, it isn't doing that. Let this cool down and then... Uh... Now, if you do this and you've gone out, gone out and you've got one of these exhausts and you start it up and you sit there, if it's water cooled, it's not too bad. Obviously this is air cooled, so that's why I've got the thermometer out to check the temperature, make sure she doesn't overcook. And I've got the ovens at the ready just in case. So I'm going to take it out for a Raz just because why not, it's got a new pipe on it, um, it probably won't feel any different or what have you, I just want to go out for a ride, the sun's shining, um, yeah, so, see you in a bit.